It's been my dream to be on Steve forever. I've, I'm a huge fan of Steve. Everywhere that I go, I wake up in the morning, I'm making breakfast, I'm watching Steve. So I've always wanted to come here and watch the show, but here I am on the show for the wrong reasons. I'm here in the hot seat, so it's not a good thing. Savannah, she's been my best friend um, for going on five years now. I was friends with Sergio first, and I moved him into my house, and then we moved her into my house, and I became friends with her by force because Sergio forced me to become friends with her because he wanted to get back in a relationship with her. On Tuesday, Sergio and Savannah invited me and Anthony over to her house to have a few drinks, and um, we ended up getting into an argument. On Tuesday, we were drinking, and we're having a good time and everything like that. And I don't know what happened between me and Lavina, but we got into like a little a little argument. And after the argument started escalating, I decided that it would be best for us to just get up and get out of the situation. The next morning I woke up and I was looking for $2 to put under my daughter's pillow because she had lost her two front teeth and I couldn't find Savannah's wallet anywhere. I was like, the only two people who were at my house was Lavina and Anthony and you know, I, I, just, I, I don't want to blame them, but you know what I mean, they're the only two people who were at my house. We wake up in the morning and Savannah calls me and says, do you know what happened? I don't know what happened, my wallet's missing. Do you know where my wallet went? And I had no idea where her wallet was and I would never take anything from her. So she thought that I was automatically guilty. That, that made me so angry because I literally love her. Like, I love her. And I don't think that it's right because I would never take from her. I've done nothing but give to her. And now I'm being accused of taking from her. I was looking through everything. I took everything out of all the dressers. I looked into, I even ducked through the dang trash can. I went out back, I cleaned up the whole backyard, looked through everything, pulled everything out. Nothing was there. A couple days passed, we hit up you guys, and then you guys hit us back up, and then out of nowhere, I was out back smoking a cigarette, and the wallet's on the ground. And I know for a fact that it couldn't have been there for no, it, it was not there, for sure it was not there. So my boyfriend Anthony doesn't really want to be on TV because he's reserved, he's shy. But that doesn't mean that he's guilty. He still took the, the test. He's still over here trying to prove that he didn't do this. I honestly think that Sergio is the one who took the wallet because this isn't the first time that something like this has happened. There's been multiple occasions where Savannah has had money come up missing and she knows it was him who took it. I can't believe they would think that I would steal my own rent money. It's for my place to stay. We had to come up with that money on our own. So on Friday when the producers called us to come to the show, me and Anthony took it as an opportunity to prove to them that we didn't take it because we both know that we did not take that wallet. I, I know that they planted it because I knew that Steve is gonna expose these liars for what they really are and I want, I want to get justice. I know Anthony stole it because he looks like the type. He looks like he has sticky fingers, like, like he sees he's gonna take it. I don't like him, he's a liar and a fibber. And I think Lavina's covering up for him because she has the key to my house and she's the only one that could have planted the wallet back for him. But going in my mind, she's just trying to protect him so that way he doesn't get in trouble. She just barely met him and I think she really likes him because he said he's a truck driver. So I took a lie detector test today to prove to everybody that I did not steal that wallet, I didn't plant that wallet, and I have no idea who took it. Neither did my boyfriend Anthony, nobody did any of that. I also took a test because I know I didn't plant this wallet. I didn't make none of this up. Why would I lie? I just want Savannah to know that I really did love her. And I was a true friend to her. And I still will love her. But I can't be friends with her anymore because I'm not going to get accused again. How long have you known Lavina? For five and a half years. You guys close? Yeah. How close? Like sisters. Like sisters. And uh, Anthony just comes into the picture, right? Yeah. Okay, he's new. How long have you been with Sergio? Seven years. Seven years, long mm -hmm. time. And uh, you have kids with Sergio? Yes, I have okay. three daughters. With him? Yes. Oh, that's nice. So who's the number one suspect in this? Anthony. Way? Anthony. Why do you say Anthony? Because I don't know him, and he was the only one in my house besides her, and I trust her. Well, what is this a picture of, when he found the purse? Yes. Who took this picture? Serge, uh, Sergio did. Like, like it's a crime scene? <laughs> well. Why would he take a picture of this? They told us to take a picture. Who, who's they? Uh, one oh, of the we producers, did. yeah. So they said, hey, we found the purse, and our producer said, take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. And so did he recreate it, or? No, it was, he just took he, a picture. He left it like that for us. 
Call the, call the show. <laughs> well, I was at work when it was found. <laughs> like, how long was the wallet gone for? From Tuesday, well, the, when we realized it was gone, it was Wednesday morning. Right. So and from then, Wednesday to Friday. When did the wallet get thrown back in your yard? Friday. Friday. And by this time, everybody knows. And I had went to work at 1 o'clock that yeah. day. So by this point, everybody knows, hey, you're going on the Steve Wilco show. You're going to take yes. lie detector yes. tests. So then somebody said, whoa. Yeah. Your friend says, Sergio is to blame, and Sergio has stolen from you before. Yeah. He's stolen from you before? No. He's, why does he's, she say he's that? He's put my, when we've had an argument, he's put my stuff up, and, but Hit he's it. never taken it. He hid your stuff. Basically. Does, do you ever say, don't spend money on that to him? I'll tell him, oh, this is our bill of money. This is this money. This is that money. But I mean, money. does he ever spend but money when I'll you get mad? I no. He doesn't go, like, no. he gets a case of beer. He asks me. Right. He, he's got to ask you. Yeah, he has to ask me. Are you the breadwinner? Right now, yeah. So he doesn't have his own money? No. Aww. He watches my kids. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm not saying it's wrong. The woman's the breadwinner, and the man has stay, does nothing problem yeah. with that. But I just find it interesting. He doesn't have access to money. Well, I leave him yours. with money, yes, yeah. but he don't. But he doesn't. He have don't his have a job own, right now. He doesn't have his own money. Yeah, really. he don't have his own. Seriously, you're gonna stab me in the back like this, Savannah. You know I would never do this to you, Savannah. I know you wouldn't, but I know your boyfriend did. And I would he allow him to, to do that to you. How many times no, did I take wouldn't. him out of the situation for even trying to disrespect you guys? How many times? And I would allow that to happen, right? Like no. you said yourself, we're sisters. My kids think we're sisters. And you think that I would let that happen? No, I don't. But obviously, my wallet was gone. You're saying that I'm trying to cover up for him? It looks like you're trying to cover up for Sergio. <laughs> the incident she's talking about, the whole argument that started, was because he called me a bitch. And that's why we left. Because I'm not going to sit there and get called a bitch by your man. And I would never sit there and oh, let whoa, my whoa, man whoa. call you a bitch. Sergio called you a bitch? Yes. Why did Sergio call her a bitch? I don't remember. We were talking, and then they started talking about something. I don't remember. Hey, that what about the, the wallet, the purse, magically reappearing in this fortress-like yard? Sergio. <laughs> Sergio. Ran all over it. No. Don't even no. No. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good, man. Yeah. Okay, just a little nervous about being on TV, you mean? Yeah, it's nerve-wracking, Yeah, right? it is. Yeah. And you know what else is nerve-wracking? When you have a secret and you don't want anybody else to know about it. You got that feeling? No, I don't have that feeling at all. Oh, I'm comfortable. Okay. I know yeah. I didn't do it. Okay. I just want to. So tell me about this purse repair. Well, I was on the phone. My mom asking her for money for gas because we were going to go on to Fresno to the airport. And when I was on the phone, I hung up on my mom and I seen the wallet on the floor. It was at night. On the ground? Yes. On the ground at night. Yeah. And my dog had been out there all day, too, so I know it wasn't my dog. You didn't think the dog took the no, wallet. No, I mean, no. And when you found the wallet with all the money, all the credit cards, everything in there, what'd you think? I like, was, I got goosebumps, man. I'm not gonna lie, I got goosebumps. I got scared. I was like, what the heck? You got scared? Well, I like, someone came into my house. I had my kids there. I picked my kids from school and everything. Like, you what? said you have a key, right? Yes. So maybe her or maybe uh, Anthony. I don't think she took it. I think Anthony, Anthony took it. So he came in the house. That's why he's not on the stage. Okay, hold on. It's front door. Right? <laughs> Goes to the back door, right? Goes outside. <laughs> Drops the purse, right? Yeah. Then he goes back upstairs into the apartment, walks all the way through the apartment. You don't have to walk, there's no stairs. Okay, but still has to walk through the apartment, right? Yeah. To go out the front door? Yeah. And then he locked it again or no? No. Oh yeah, it was, oh, yeah, it was locked. The door was locked. Oh, it was locked. So he had to lock the door. Yeah. Why would somebody go through all that trouble? To not get caught up. They know we're... Okay. Let's meet your boyfriend. Oh, he's, he, he didn't want to come out. 
Now we know the whole story. That's why he's back there. That's got to make him guilty, right? Let's meet him. Here's Anthony. How you doing, Anthony? Pretty good, huh? Uh, so, you know, you meet uh, Lavina, right? Yeah. And uh, for a month, and it's going good, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you meet the friends. What do you think of the friends? Um, Before the purse got stolen. Well, I mean, he was pretty cool. After, I mean, He know, was cool. It was all right, you know? Yeah, I did mean, you think, though, he's kind of awkward? Yeah, a little yeah. antsy. Antsy. A little antsy. Yeah. So, Fidgety. Yeah. Sticky. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you remember, remember that night? I went to bed after that. I know that. But, I mean, you were pretty... Yeah, I was pretty hammered. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Yeah. Might have did something stupid, right? Maybe. I don't think I did huh. it, though. I don't think I did it, for real. Did what? Steal the wallet. I don't think I stole the wallet. Oh, you don't I think know so. I didn't steal the wallet. You don't think. I want to I wanna conduct the police lineup. Can you, all four, my own damn can you all four stand right here for me, please? And you have to identify the perpetrator. <laughs> By hands, who think Lavinia stole the money? Oh, not one person. Wow. What about Anthony? Come on! <laughs> not one person? Wow. What a, well, she didn't do it. <laughs> wow. Now, one other person. What about me? Did I do it? Yanya. <laughs> Did you steal Savannah's wallet? No. You answered no. Did you witness Anthony steal Savannah's wallet? No. He answered no. Were you involved in the theft of Savannah's wallet? No. He answered no. The results of those three questions came back all the same, and they came back that Lavinia told the truth. <laughs> Did you plant the wallet back on Savannah's property? FBI agent. You, he answered no. Are you aware of Anthony planting the wallet back on Savannah's property? You answered no. Are you aware of anyone planting the wallet back on Savannah's property? You answered no. And the results came back the same to all of those three questions, and it came back that you told the truth. <laughs> Anthony, you're up. We asked you, did you steal Savannah's wallet? You answered no. Did you witness Lavinia steal Savannah's wallet? No. You answered no. Were you involved in the theft of Savannah's wallet? You answered no. Uh, results came back the same to all three of those questions. And it came back that Anthony told the truth. <laughs> Did you plant the wallet back on Savannah's property? You answered no. Are you aware if Lavinia planted the wallet back on Savannah's property? You answered no. Are you aware of anyone planting the wallet back on Savannah's property? You answered no. Results came back all the same. And they came back that you told the truth. Sergio took a lot of tech test. Do you know who stole Savannah's wallet? No. Were you involved in the theft of Savannah's wallet? No. Did you plant the wallet on your property? No. Results came back all the same. And they came back that Sergio did not tell the truth. <laughs> Here's a chance to be a man and tell her why you did it. And I don't want to hear, I don't know. We all know why we do stupid <laughs> but it takes true guts, true courage to tell the truth. I thought I wanted to buy stuff online. You saw what? I wanted, I wanted to buy something online. What was it online you wanted to buy? It was something from online. I don't remember what it was. Wow. Tell wow. the truth. It was, a, it was a game. That's it. It's a game. OK. okay. You are a dirtbag who steals from his own kids. Uh, the woman you love, you get the hell off my stage. <laughs> but I would hope that no matter what, you really work to uh, get this relationship going. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here 
to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.